Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sally Lemus. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. The long-awaited travel bubble begins this weekend. Also tonight, be nice when you see unfamiliar faces around the island. Our tourism depends on it. And get vaccinated, Sinemai. It may win you money. In sports, this weekend, motocross revs up for the final race of the year. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Good morning, Kiko. I am here at Docomo Walleri Branch. The Docomo staff here are super helpful with my appointment. They take good care of me in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for helping me out downloading and using the Skid Lionel app. I can take care of all my Docomo needs. No need to wait in line with the Skid Lionel app. We love you, Docomo Pacific. Better together. I would recommend websites like the CDC website, Mayo Clinic website, any established um, hospital system or healthcare system. I suspect that Kaiser has a lot of information out there. I would go um, to known websites, WebMD, Healthline, they all have a, a, a lot of information that is reliable and w well thought out. I would much less go to blogs and the individuals who are looking at it from their own perspective and not necessarily science. And there you have it. McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Opioids are commonly prescribed drugs. They can help ease short-term pain after surgery, an accident, or illness. Common brand names include Vicodin, Demerol, Oxycontin, and Percocet. Opioids can be very addictive, and they can actually change how your brain works. Opioid misuse can lead to death. If you are prescribed an opioid medication, talk to your doctor. Always take exactly as directed, never take higher doses, keep your medication secure, and safely dispose of unused or expired medication. It only takes a little to lose a lot. Half a day to the WAMI and good evening Commonwealth. Today is Friday, July 23, 2021. Breaking news. Congressman Ivan Blanco passed away today at the age of 45. It was sudden and unexpected. And while the story is still developing, this is what we know so far. The congressman attended a meeting at Aqua Resort this morning with the Developmental Disabilities Council. After lunch, he got into his car and minutes later wrote down his window to call for assistance from a staff member. He was guided out of the vehicle and was administered CPR. An ambulance transported the congressman to CHCC and he was pronounced dead at 1.33 p.m. by Dr. Strickland. Blanco began his career as a press secretary for the late Governor Ilo Inos. After, Blanco served six years as a representative for Precinct 3. Representative Angel Damupan was at the hospital this afternoon and had this to say about his colleague. 
Representative Blanco was a beloved member of the legislature, a beloved colleague to all of us. And especially for us in the office of the minority, uh, he's our minority leader. Uh, so it's a big loss uh, to the minority. It's a big loss to the Commonwealth. Um, he was an honorable statesman, a very, very loving father, and a very, very devoted husband. Um, and he was loved by everybody who, who came in contact with him. So it's a tremendous loss today uh, for everyone. And I just ask that we keep his family uh, and uh, his soul in our prayers during this very difficult time. Um, I cannot imagine uh, what everybody's going through. Uh, this is very unexpected. Uh, our minority leader was uh, appeared to be a very healthy individual and to get this call today is a shock to everyone um, but we will miss his service his his tremendous commitment to service and commitment to the community uh, we will miss that so much because he inspired us to work harder he inspired our community uh, to become a stronger community and uh, now that we will not have his presence physically with us um, we will miss him dearly, but we will also be committed to keeping his legacy alive, and that's the legacy of service. Governor Torres, along with his family, also extends his condolences to Carmen, Lily, JC, Kidd, Paige, and the entire family of Congressman Ivan Alfonso Blanco. After months of negotiations and planning, the travel bubble with South Korea officially begins this weekend. It took a lot of groundwork to establish the travel bubble agreement between South Korea and the CNMI. Talks about the program first began in December of last year, when Elan CEO Brian Shin presented the plan to the MVA board. Since then, officials worked on every single detail, from where they would stay, what they would do, and who would be involved. Finally, the Travel Bubble Program commences tomorrow, July 24. We feel that we are prepared and ready to receive um, the first bubble and, and here on uh, to, to better our economy and, um, and move forward uh, for a successful um, uh, future. About 80 to 90 percent of the incoming passengers are reported to be fully vaccinated. They are required, however, to bring a negative PCR test 72 hours prior to departing South Korea. They will also be required to be tested upon arrival and on the fifth day. Vaccinated travelers will have the option to stay at Kensington Hotel or Road Resort. As for unvaccinated visitors, their stay will be at PIC, which is the Identified Hybrid Quarantine Facility. If they are tested negative for the virus after five days, they will be able to leave PIC and tour the islands. According to MVA's managing director, Priscilla Iacopo, there are passengers who have purchased two island tour packages. Iacopo states this information confirms that the CNMI trip program works, as tourism industry partners in South Korea are motivated to sell more than one island travel tour package. Ayakapo says this will result in regenerating revenues in the CNMI. The second travel bubble flight is expected for next week, Thursday, July 29. As for the familiarization tour currently on island, officials say they are liking their stay so far. Take a listen. Last night we had a great gathering with our fam tour. Uh, really uh, awesome uh, time with them. Um, just the fact that they're here uh, is a great success for us. The familiarization tour arrived in the CNMI last weekend. Governor Torres states they play a key role to the bubble's success because their stay might just jumpstart the whole tourism industry. They acknowledge how safe we are, and that's the reason why they're here. They feel safe. They enjoy it. Uh, despite the weather and the rainy last couple of days, uh, they are very grateful. Uh, for the partnership, and uh, we look forward for a, a better uh, relationship uh, as well as uh, our tourists coming here. The FAM tour are now able to take a stroll around Saipan, and some will even visit Tinian and Rota. 
they are going to be um, doing a lot of media coverage um, here on island uh, from south to north and, and all over um, the island as well as, um, you know, our, our um, historical sites. Please, um, you know, greet them if you see uh, the group uh, because they're, they're a mix of um, different, different folks and uh, different interests. So uh, you have YouTubers, you have um, different media group that, uh, that's with us, as well as um, uh, company CEOs of Travel Agent and the airlines. So, um, you know, let's uh, let's uh, greet them and welcome them. The FAM tour is expected to stay in the Cinemai for another week. The Cinemai's goal is to have an 80% fully vaccinated community. Currently, we are at 69.7%, but the numbers are going up fast since the launch of the Road to 80 campaign. The success of the Road to 80 campaign has progressed ever since money became an incentive. Excelsior Communications, Brad Rosella. So the Road to 80 seems to be all about this, all about this money that we've been handing out throughout the CNMI for the past, uh, well, two weeks. It's two weeks today. So we had our first uh, raffles last Friday, and the governor just mentioned that, uh, that he was able to double the allocation that they've got for us. And that's why even last week, thanks to the Gov, we were able to do two $1,000 prizes instead of just what we had scheduled, with, which was just $1,000. You can watch the raffle live on the Road to 80 Facebook page, where they put the confirmation numbers of all those who got vaccinated on a wheel. The wheel spins and a winner gets a cash prize. The raffle is being done twice a week. Today, tonight, we're going to have a $1,500 raffle. And that's going to be the same thing where it's open to all vaccinated residents of the CNMI who live in the CNMI. You have, that's the key. You have to live here. And so we'll ver uh, verify that. So what we do, we pick 10 of the confirmation numbers. And it's the first confirmation number, not just uh, the, the first and the second. Your first confirmation number is what we pull. And then we pull 10 of them just to make sure that everybody who's in that, uh, the first winner that we have, is a CNMI resident. If they're not, then we move down to the second one. But everybody gets to see what the numbers were up front. The grand prize will be held at the Taste of Marianas on August 28, where people will have a chance to win $15,000 or a brand new car. Coming up is our special Friday treat for you all. Stay tuned. I and CNMI, we are a team, and you cannot spell team without me, M-E. You get a shot, an opportunity to set the CNMI free from COVID-19. See, so let's go for a save, a strikeout, a knockout punch. That's our goal. V for victory, V for vaccinate. Let's make this a team win, and we can all celebrate. All workers have the right to a safe workplace. Employers must provide a workplace that is free from recognized hazards and comply with applicable OSHA standards, including proper reporting of injuries. Training needs to be done in a language and vocabulary employees can understand. And an OSHA information poster must be displayed prominently in the workplace. Workers 
You have the right to raise a safety or health concern with your employer or OSHA without being retaliated against. And request an OSHA consultation of your workplace if you believe there are unsafe or unhealthy conditions. OSHA can help. Free assistance to identify and correct hazards is available to small and medium-sized employers without citation or penalty. So look out, speak up, and stay safe. Job safety and health, it's not only good practice, it's the law. Check out OSHA.gov or call 664 3154 or 3155. So, up until now, the only ways we've had to fight COVID are closing things down which has been really hard on people here in the CNMI. Um, a lot of people have lost jobs, and a lot of people have lost incomes. Uh, and although it's been effective, it's not sustainable. It's not something we can do forever. Um, vaccination is a way for us to safely resume a lot of those things that bring vibrancy to the CNMI, to hopefully reopen to tourism in some safe capacity, to get people back to work in various service industries. The Road to 80 continues with $1,500 in cash, brought to you in part by this week's featured sponsor, HBR International. This is the CNMI's push for an 80% vaccination rate, and we've got thousands of dollars and a Nissan Rogue Sport to drive us there. Watch the next drawing this Friday, July 23rd, on the Road to 80 CNMI Facebook page. Register for your shot today at vaccinatecnmi.com or call 682-SHOT. The Road to 80 is brought to you by the Office of the Governor COVID-19 Task Force, Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation, Jotan Enterprises, Bridge Capital, Tan Holdings, and more. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. Tonight we feature the famous Sunset Cruisers. Enjoy.
Thank you. Coming up, you'll get a kick out of KSPN2 Sports next. These kids certainly did. For the different beats of your life, we're here to keep you connected the way you want it. Plans made for you, by you. Build your own bundle with Link. Select the internet, entertainment, mobile, and home phone plans that fit your lifestyle. Pay for what you want, not for what you don't. Build your own bundle and save with Link. Drop into the Shake Cafe at Gold's Gym for a quick and healthy meal. It's fast food that's good for you. Our July Smoothie of the Month has oatmeal, peanut butter, raisins, and cinnamon. It's a healthy blend of 450 calories that's perfect for a meal replacement or supplement. Shake it up at Gold's Gym. My doctor gave me the pills, so they must be safe, right? If taken exactly as prescribed, short-term use can be safe, but painkillers have real risk. Misusing an opioid painkiller can cause serious harm, including addiction and death, and misuse can happen quite easily. Make sure you never mix them with alcohol, antidepressants, sedatives, or sleep aids. And if you are prescribed an opioid, you need to tell your doctor about any other drugs, including herbal supplements that you are taking. It only takes a little to lose a lot. The Tan Sri Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Tonight's sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Buenos sports, sports fans. fans.
When a sports fans, oh, what a difference a week can make going from the Dust Bowl to the Mud Bowl. We're talking about the Cowtown races coming up. The monsoon rains could be a race changer for the Mariners Racing Association. This Sunday, it's the seventh and final racing in the MRA Championship Series. Eleven division championships are up for grabs coming down to this final showdown. The first six events were held during dry season, turning Cowtown into a dust bowl. This time, riders will challenge each other on slick, marpy red clay. Could see lots of spills and thrills. Two racing events, and it's one at 10 and the other one at 2 o'clock. Need an invitation? We got one for you. Here it is. MRA, which is Mariana's Racing Association, this Sunday is their last race, I believe. Uh, so I ask the community to come out and, and show support uh, to the uh, association and enjoy Cowtown and enjoy the farthest north of activity. Uh, but, uh, you know, despite of whatever the weather is uh, coming Sunday, I want to wish uh, all the, the, the racers, all the participants for MRA, uh, the family members that put so much time and effort, uh, and I wish all of them luck. And I want to also congratulate MRA for a job well done in pushing forward uh, on this activity, uh, turn a race. Uh, and this is something that our kids can look forward to, uh, family get together. Uh, and I wish all of them nothing but best wishes and please uh, good luck and be safe. You know, the only organized sport for kids this summer has been youth soccer. And Saturday afternoons is turning to their field of dreams. And we've been saving these highlights for a rainy day. And guess what? It was a rainy day. Winds whip across the Cobleville Training Center. Five games being played simultaneously on green outdoor carpeting filled with little black plastic beads. U soccer consists of two levels, competitive and non-competitive. Here's U15 competitive. Southern United FC attacking. Pirey. Summer Manahani passes to Jacqueline Torres, Alana Hayes with a foot rejection. Southern's goalie comes out of the box, she shoots! The ball deflected out and then this time, the shot finds the back of the net. More attack. Goalie scoops it up, no score. <laughs> Summer steals, she dribble drives, she scores! It must be summertime. Megan Aleda, she joins the scoring parade. She scored five times. Southern United FC all over Pirie, 11 to 2. U12 co ed competitive, Matanza in yellow versus orange and white Kanoa FC. Anton Magina, one of his two scores. Matanza edges Kanoa, 2 to 1. Also in the U12 competitive co ed division, MPU FC. In pink, overwhelming, Tan Holdings, FC 7-0. Taigi Nami Scruggins scored twice. Six other players chipped in a goal apiece for the pink shirts. Keeping with soccer, you know, the NMI women's national team's on Guam this week, and one of those players is a 14-year-old. we got a story about her. I know firsthand that soccer brings people together. All it takes is a ball and a few people, and the seeds of friendship are planted. Callie Crichton. Young Star Shining, brought to you by the Tan Soon Lin Foundation. Pia Niwak is one of the hundreds of kids who are coming through the Namifa pipeline with clubs and professional coaching. Is that the attraction? Um, I'm not really sure, but I think um, the sport is just really fun and... Yeah, talk about coach. Your coach is Coach Key? Yeah. Um, talk talk about the coaching. How valuable? How important is coaching? It's really important. I think it's um, really important to, for a player to learn from a coach that's good and motivates them to keep going. One of the factors is the Cobraville Training Center, which has become a recruiting magnet. I go there like every day and it's really fun and it's a way for me and my team to build chemistry. She plays defense for Southern United at right back and she was on that squad that beat the boys U15 national team. 
One of her mentors has been on the KSPN2 Sports since ever since, Pastor Ted. He's still playing, you know, seven decades of ball for the Patriarch. Yeah, my grandpa, he's really, he's old, but he wor works hard and he's really athletic and he motivates me to push and I want to be like him when I grow up. Young Star Shining, brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. All right, finally, it's time to roll out the top plays of the week. We don't have time for three, only for one, two. Non-competitive UH soccer, Logan Pro, beautiful goal for Kanoa FC. Namifa doesn't record these goals, but KSPN2 Sports does. Logan, top play number two. Coming at number one, it's the NMI National Women's Team defeating Guam 2-1 to one and 4-3 to three on Guam. It's the top play of the week. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Eco Camp starts Monday, July 12th at Mariana's Trekking Camp. Activities include hiking, snorkeling, off-road and kayaking, field trips, arts and crafts, and go-karting. You can sign up online at marianastrekking.com. Just $100 per session includes lunch. See you at Eco Camp. Get out and get into gear at Eco Camp. Designed for ages six and above. Experience go karting, off roading, kayaking, snorkeling, hiking, and field trips. Sign up online at MarianasTrekking.com and take advantage of a special weekly rate of $100, including lunch. Starts July 12th. See you at Eco Camp. You have a phone, a game, an iPad, a laptop? Good. Leave them at home because the screen time at Eco Camp is sunscreen. Hike, bike, kayak, snorkel, off-road, and go-kart. Eco Camp starts July 12th at Marianas Trekking. Sign up at MarianasTrekking.com. We're in a race whether we know it or not. Build our new normal. Enough of my lips to be out. Let's activate the light. Here's our weather report for today. Hello, you know, 1.77 inches of rain yesterday at the airport, by the way. The high today, 86, low 78, humidity 77%. The weekend forecast, scattered showers, so hope you like rain, because you're gonna get some. Southwest winds, five to 15, high 88, low 78, sea six to eight feet, and building through the weekend. Sunrise, 557, uh, high tide at 626 in the morning, low tide in the afternoon at 2.30, sunset at 649. It's official, the weekend begins right now. Have a great one, have a safe one. We'll see you back here on a Monday evening. Thank you for watching.